Hello, we have earlier discussed about diamagnetism and paramagnetism. Now we shall discuss about paramagnetic susceptibility in case of a conductor. So if we have conduction electrons in the system, the lesson that we have learnt about paramagnetism is not valid the way we have learnt it. There should be some modification. Therefore, we shall here develop our understanding about paramagnetic susceptibility of conduction electrons. Let us discuss the problem first. If we consider classical free electron theory, then we get an unsatisfactory account of the paramagnetic susceptibility of conduction electrons. An electron has associated with it a magnetic moment of one Bohr magneton. If we consider one electron. the magnetic moment is one Bohr magneton. So one might expect that the conduction electrons would make a Curie type paramagnetic contribution to the magnetization of the metal. Then the magnetization of the metal would be given as N that is the number of conduction electrons times mu B squared over KBT times the magnetic field. This would be the magnetization if we have n number of electrons in the system, each giving rise to mu B amount of magnetic moment. Instead, we observe that the magnetization of most normal ferromagnetic metals is independent of temperature while according to this expression, it is inversely proportional to temperature. Experimentally, it is found to be independent of temperature for most normal metals. Pauli showed that if we apply Fermi Dirac distribution, then this uh, problem is corrected, it is resolved. We first try to understand it qualitatively. If we consider the probability of an atom lined up parallel to external magnetic field and the probability of anti-parallel orientation to external magnetic field, the difference of parallel orientation and anti-parallel orientation the difference in probability can be given as mu times b over kBT. If we have n number of atoms per unit volume, then the net magnetization becomes n mu b over k b t obviously. Most conduction electrons in a metal have no possibility of turning over when a field is applied. Why? Because most orbitals in the Fermi C with parallel spins are already occupied. Only the electrons which are in the range of k b t of the top of the Fermi distribution have a chance to turn over in the field. Therefore, only the fraction T over Tf, Tf is the Fermi temperature. This fraction of the total number of electrons, they contribute to the susceptibility. If we consider that, then the magnetization can be written approximately as n mu square over kBT 
times B, the external magnetic field times T over T f this fraction. So, it is not n number of electrons that contribute, but n times T over T f that number of electrons contribute, which we cancel T T here we uh, arrive at n mu square over K B T f times the magnetic field. Now, this expression as you can see here is independent of temperature, T f is the Fermi temperature which is a constant, therefore, this is independent of temperature. And this is also of the order of magnitude that is observed from experiment. Now, we calculate the expression for the paramagnetic susceptibility for a free electron gas. at temperature that is much less than the Fermi temperature. Here, we need to understand the density of states first. If we have an external magnetic field applied, then the density of states for parallel and antiparallel electrons, they are not the same. Here, this is the energy axis. On this side, we plot the density of states of the majority electrons and this side, we plot the density of states of the minority electrons. Say the Fermi energy is somewhere here. If we have this kind of a situation, then you can clearly see that there are these many majority electrons while these few minority electrons. You can clearly see this from this picture. That means, if we take the difference, then we would get something like this. The majority electron is larger in number. So, the difference of majority and minority electrons would populate somewhere in this region, if we just draw that, it would look something like this. The concentration of electrons with magnetic moment parallel to the magnetic field, that can be given as n plus equals half integration over minus mu b to the Fermi energy d epsilon times the density of states for energy epsilon plus mu b, which is approximately equal to half integration of from 0 to Fermi energy d epsilon density of states at energy E plus half mu B d epsilon f. We arrive at this conclusion from these pictures that we have drawn here and this is written for absolute zero temperature. Now, the approximation is written for, this approximation is valid for K B T much, much less than 
epsilon f which we expressed in other way as temperature much much less than Fermi temperature. Now, the concentration of electrons with magnetic moment anti parallel to the magnetic field that we write as n minus is given as half integration from mu b up to the Fermi energy d epsilon times density of states at energy E minus mu b. This is approximately given as half integration from 0 to the Fermi energy d epsilon times the density of states at energy epsilon minus half mu b density of states at the Fermi energy. This we can write just similar to the previous expression. If we have this, then the magnetization would be given as m equals mu n plus minus n minus obviously. So, if we calculate this it will turn out to be mu squared density of states at the Fermi energy times the magnetic field which is equal to 3 n mu squared over twice k b t f the Fermi temperature times the magnetic field. This would be the expression for magnetization putting the value of density of states for free electron model. Now, this expression gives us the Fermi sorry the gives us the Pauli spin magnetization of the conduction electron for k b t much less than the Fermi energy and the density of states at the Fermi energy for free electron that is given as 3 n over twice of the Fermi energy which is 3 n over twice k b t f. Putting this we get this. Now, in deriving the paramagnetic susceptibility we have supposed that the spatial motion of the electron is not affected by the magnetic field but the wave functions are modified by the magnetic field that is what we have assumed. Landau has shown that for free electron this cause a diamagnetic moment equal to minus one third of the paramagnetic moment. If we consider that the wave functions are altered but the spatial motion of is not altered. Thus, the total magnetization of the free electron gas in that case after uh, subtracting the diamagnetic part that would be n mu b squared over k b t f times b. If we subtract one third from here this is what we get one third from this expression that we obtained here we get this to be the value of the magnetization. Now, before comparing this expression with experiment, we must take into account of the diamagnetism of ionic cores, the band effect and of electron electron interaction. If we take an example of sodium, the interaction effect increases the spin susceptibility by about 75 percent. 
the interactions like band interaction, electron-electron interaction and ionic core effect that increases the spin susceptibility by 75 percent, quite large number. The magnetic susceptibility is considerably higher for most of the transition metals, that is the metals where some inner shell is not completely filled. So, these are uh, more for transition metals for than that of alkali metals. The higher values suggest that the density of states is unusually high for the transition metals. If we have high density of states at the Fermi level, then this would be the situation. And this uh, argument that the density of states must be higher in case of transition metal, that uh, uh, argument is in agreement with the measurement of the electronic, electronic part of the heat capacity that has to do with the density of states. So, this is how we explain the anomaly that we discussed to begin with that the magnetization is not dependent on temperature and it uh, after, after take, uh, taking into consideration the Fermi Dirac distribution and working out the magnetization and the susceptibility this way it almost agrees with the experiment.